Hi guys, so I'm actually here wrapping and I was editing a video and realized I never did an intro for my homemade video, homemade ornaments and gifts that we did this year. So here's the little intro. Uh, this year we made pretty much almost all of the gifts that went to family members. So grandparents, aunts and uncles, cousins, everything was made this year. It definitely did take some time, but I must say I am so happy with how everything came out. The ornament I was a little iffy about, but I must say it is really cute and it's definitely kid friendly and you know, they're not all going to come out perfectly. So I hope you guys enjoyed and having a great holiday season and don't forget to like and subscribe and here's all the gifts we made. Okay, here is another homemade gift we made for grandparents and great grandparents. I actually have a, my grandparents on my mom's side are actually still alive. So we send them a gift every year for Christmas. And it's always something made because let's face it, as great grandparents, they don't really want anything. We do send pictures too, which you will see that next. But um, here are what we made. I found this off of Pinterest and I just thought it came out really cute. Um, so this is the grand, the great grandbabies or grand babies. It's just so cute. And the kids loved doing their footprints and Jeffrey kind of helped me make the bees, which is fine. They're not perfect, but let's face it. It's a homemade gift and it's not supposed to be perfect. Um, I found these, um, canvases. These were actually at Walmart, but, um, and I got a good deal on them. I think I got like six of them for like seven or eight dollars but I actually did was in the dollar store the other day and they actually sell canvases now so if you are looking for some you can get some really cheap there and I want to say they were like a two-pack so that's actually a really great deal um I will remember that for the future but this is what we made for the grandparents and great-grandparents and I just think they came out so cute they're not perfect and I was a little upset that day but I'm like you know what it's not supposed to be perfect it's a homemade gift from kids like it's supposed to just be cute and fun. And so this is what we did for grandparents. All right, here are the ornaments that we made this year. So we have been making ornaments for like any, you know, aunts, uncles, anybody like that for, oh my goodness, I think Jeffrey was an infant. So we've been doing it for a while. I'm not particularly happy with the shape of them this year, but Robert, the day that I was finishing them, I was like really upset about it. And Robert comes over and goes, mom, these are awesome. They're the best ones you've made. It like so made my day, but we did the little Rudolph, um, or, you know, the little Rudolph faces with the thumbprints, put their names on it in the date. And it's just super cute. And I just, you know, they're homemade. They're super cute. So those are going to all like adults in our family that, you know, give the kids gifts. And then for kids this year, our family has decided over the last couple of years that, the kids really don't need gifts, but we want to get them a little something. So this year I decided to do homemade ornaments. So we made initial ornaments for the kids. So this is for, um, the green ones are for boys and the red ones were for girls. And then we just put the little designs on them. This was actually, I was going to go buy everything individually. And I actually had been on Amazon one day and it came all together. So it came with, these were just plain wooden, um, decorations and, the letters along with the string and it came with a bunch of different ones but it was like I want to say there was two of every letter um so two or three something like that it was very reasonably priced plus it came with all these little guys and all the string for them so everything was all ready it was just all plain wooden you bought the kit I want to say it was like under twenty dollars I will link it below but it was so cool because we just painted it and then on the back we just put the date and then our name just got a little glare right now. Um, so that's what we're giving for gifts. Kind of just like something fun, nice that you can keep forever because let's face it, everybody gets so much stuff. Like it's, it's not about the gifts. It's about the memories. And I personally really enjoy ornaments. So that is what we did for ornaments this year. Okay. So here is the Christmas card this year that we did. So these are the kids. They came out super cute. Not bad considering you got to get three kids to stare at you and smile. And I'm very happy with it, but we made them on these little popsicle stick frames and I painted this popsicle sticks and then we glued them together. And then I just put the picture on, um, and put this little snowflake on that I found. Um, everything minus the picture I got at the dollar store. So that was great. Um, all the popsicle sticks and the glue and stuff. And then I did find these little magnets on Amazon. I will link them below. They were pretty inexpensive, which was great. And then I just had to put a piece of, um, glue, a piece of, uh, what is this construction paper on the back? It's just for support. Um, that was one of the things I read about. Sorry, the camera broke off, but 
So this is what we made this year. They are super cute. I love them. I'm definitely thinking they are my favorite Christmas picture so far of the kids. I just feel like everyone's looking, smiling. It's just so great. Um, so yeah, this is all the homemade gifts we made this year. It was so much fun. It was a lot of work, but that's okay, especially because I had to make 22 of these, but um, so worth it, I think.